I'm going to start off by disconnecting the battery. It's important to disconnect the battery before you do anything else because if the battery is connected, it can short circuit the motherboard or damage any other parts. So you want to flip the unit over and loosen up the bottom cover screws. Now that the bottom cover screws are loosened, you can take your spudger and remove the bottom cover. you can disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Now that the battery is disconnected, you can just place the bottom cover back on to prevent any scratches or damages to the internal parts. And then flip the unit over and open the unit up. These two stickers will come off and there are screws underneath of them. Once those stickers are off, you can remove the screws. Now you can remove this plastic bezel at the bottom. Remove these two screws at the bottom of the LCD. Now to get the LCD out, you can just slide it down and then take your spudger at the top and lift it out and flip it over. Disconnect the LCD cable from the PCB board and the sensor board. And from the LCD. and remove it at the top with the camera. Now you can take your new LCD and start by flipping it over. Putting the camera back into place. As you're reconnecting things, you want to loop the cable around the hooks. And then you can reconnect the 
LCD cable to the sensor board. You can reconnect it to the PCB board. And then reconnect to the LCD. Everything is reconnected and carefully flip the LCD over and put it back into the top cover. And slide it back up into place. And then put the screws back into the LCD. If it doesn't go in right away, you might have to just slide it up a little bit more. And then take the plastic bezel and clip that back on at the bottom. Put the screws back in. And put the stickers back on over top. Now you wanna flip the unit over and remove the bottom cover. Now to reconnect the battery, just wanna take the battery cable and reconnect it into the motherboard. And put the bottom cover back on. Once the bottom cover is back on, now you can tighten the screws back up. And then to verify the repair, flip the unit back over, open it up. Plug in the AC adapter and hold the power button on the side. And if the LCD turns on, then that means the replacement was successful. And if you would like to check to see if the battery is working, unplug the unit. And if it stays on, then that means that the battery is working. So now you can shut the unit down.